Good morning, guys. I think I'm the first one to vlog today, actually. Um, I'm going to talk about something that is really... Like, something that you guys don't ever see. Um, ever since I was really young, like, probably 12, 13, I've had just these massive... Um, fits of rage, like, just fly right off the handle, um, yeah, just psycho rage fits, and, um, I'm really good at hiding them, and I'm really good at hiding it in general, but, you know, I'm always a duck on the pond, like, you know, I've had to train myself to function. And, um, and yeah, to the point that my grandparents don't even know. Um, but yeah, I'm just a really angry, high, highly strong, um, person. And I just thought that it was me, you know what I mean? I just thought that, yeah, there was just something that wasn't right. And... Yeah, today I got diagnosed with bipolar. So, yeah, for the last 10 years that I've just been, you know, off my nut, more or less, it wasn't just me. It's a bit of a relief. And it's a bit daunting but at least now I know so yeah at least now I know and um, yeah I had it under really good control for a while and during my pregnancy and everything I was super calm and I only had like two or three outbursts which was really like major for me <laughs> um and yeah then when I got sick and I went into hospital and everything as soon as I came out of hospital I've been a lot worse than I have been in a really really long time um yeah so I don't know um yeah, sorry, Tanner just walked in. He's like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> so, yeah, Tanner doesn't even know yet. But I don't think he'll be surprised. <laughs> mm. I mean, you wouldn't know it to look at me. And you wouldn't know it, like, to watch the vlog or to be my friend in real life or whatever um yeah i think everyone would be extremely shocked to know that i'm bipolar i mean i've only known one bipolar person in my life and that is my uncle's ex and she was extreme bipolar like like um there's sort of three different kinds of bipolar there's the extreme just frenzied, um, violent uh, bipolar, and then there's bipolar, which is just really aggressive and full of rage and just flies off the handle and everything like that. And then there's a sort of euphoric, which is bipolar too, and that's like, um, that's like you know, life of the party, just go and have sex with random people and. And just, yeah, like all this positive, po they have a lot of ups. Whereas, um, me, I have a lot of, a lot of rage fits and a lot of extreme lows. <laughs> um, yeah, but I've been, I don't know, I've just sort of trained myself to live with myself. And, um... Yeah, like, I don't know, the last month or so, I've been really, really, like, 
unraveling. So, um, to finally know what it is, is just such a relief. And when I first heard it, like, you hear a word like bipolar and you think of, you know, people on friggin' CSI that go on killing sprees or some shit. <laughs> um, or I think of my uncle's ex that is just, oh my god, uncontrollable. Um, yeah, and, you know, I, I shouldn't find it daunting or scary or whatever because I've already been living with it for like 10 years but I don't know it's a bit of a relief to know what it is um I'm not gonna go on medication uh yet I don't want to be dulled down because when I'm good I'm great when I'm bad I'm horrible but yeah, I don't want to go on medication, so I think I'm just going to take the newfound knowledge of a diagnosis and a name for it, and I'm going to put that in my little mind bank and be like, okay, so this is what it is. This is why you are the way you are. I didn't realise but my dad is actually bipolar, like the really psychotic bipolar. Um, and yeah, people who have a family member with bipolar are more likely, more susceptible or whatever. And Yeah, I got a really early onset though. Um, some people don't experience it until their 20s, but I got it when I was like fresh into my teens, like first year of my teens. I remember my first outburst fit um I just started screaming and just erratic like really bad over something minuscule like nothing and um yeah my brother like I was screaming at my mum and Tana um Tana stepped in and he tried to punish me and everything by taking my phone off me and I remember that I was just so wound up, just so in my fit, that I grabbed his arm and I bit him. Like, I was just feral. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Um, I haven't had one of those since. But yeah, the... The rage is just... Consuming. But... Yeah, I've been living with it, I've been dealing with it. I'm just relieved to finally know what it is, I guess. And um, to be able to take that on board and, um, you know, keep on cruising. <laughs> but yeah, there's a little something you didn't know about me. So there's a lot that you don't see on camera, obviously. Um, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I feel good now that I can, like, share this school type stuff with you. Because now I can complain to you. <laughs> oh, man. I'm doing statistics and analysis as one of my um, intro subjects. And it's sort of like, hold on, I'll give you a... I'll give you a little bit of a, get a bit, a little bit of a go here. All right, <clears throat> hold on. All this kind of stuff here. Begin by investigating the distribution of composting behavior in your sample. Use the such and such. What percentage of this, and then what percentage of that? Statistics, oh my god, I hate numbers. What proportion of people of your sample compost their food scraps? Give your answer correct at two decimal places. Oh my god, look at all this shit. Help me guys, help me. And then I got, what am I up to? I have roughly 30 pages to read of critical thinking in statistics tonight. <laughs> but it's gotta be done. Break time. <laughs> oh man, I didn't even put any proper clothes on. Look, I'm still in my freaking, my, these are my lawn mowing shorts. So I was gonna mow the lawn this afternoon, but I decided, no, I need to do schoolwork. Yeah, these are my lawn mowing shorts. These are the shorts that have paint all over them still from when the girls had their shop last year and were painted in these shorts. So they've got still got all the white paint on there. 
I just thought, I thought it's thought I'd share that. But yeah, um, break time. Brought the, brought the girls down the street just quickly so they could grab some food for dinner and gonna make a nice, nice meal for dinner tonight. Um, I know, I know it's kind of bad because I had rice. I had rice the other night when grandparents were here. I had rice last night, even though it was brown rice, so it kind of like doesn't count. But I'm having pasta tonight because I'm going to make lasagna for dinner because I feel like a really, really good meal because I'm going to be in there. In, I'm going to be in this whole school stuff for the long haul tonight until like, I reckon 2 a.m. it'll take me to. But yeah, if I get if I get this out of the way tonight, then I don't even have to do anything for a couple of days. So give me a break. That's why I'm going to push hard tonight. But yeah, last lasagna for dinner tonight. And the person that gave me the idea, thank you, Kane. When you watch this, I hope you get super jealous when you see my yum yum lasagna. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't mean to rub it in much. Yes, I do. <laughs> Dickhead, you left your lights on. <laughs> you guys, I'm just about to go out. And I'm wearing something a bit brave. I'm wearing a really loose top. And then I'm wearing a skirt with a really high split. Oh my god. I'm kind of freaking a bit. It'll be alright, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying out this new lip product called Lip Coat. And what it does is it seals your lips so you can apparently stop it from feathering. And, um, like wearing off when you eat or drink or whatever. So. I don't think, oh shit, I don't think I'm eating, but I'm definitely going to drink something, so let's test this shit out. Now, every time I make lasagna and I show you the cross cut so you can see the side and the stacks and things like that, I always get some bloody bastard saying, but where's the bechamel sauce? Here's your freaking sauce, god damn it. There's your sauce. If I had three hands, I'd show you me pouring it on, but through the magic of editing, Here's the finished product with the sauce on top. There. It's not bloody pretty, but it's cheesy. <laughs> uh, how many layers did I get? Five layers tonight, all meat. Normally I would put a cheese sauce in like the middle layer because I like to see meaty layer on top after I finish cooking it. But um, yeah, we'll do a cheese sauce on top tonight. Just because. And I'll put extra, I'll put extra, I'll put extra palms in on top. Just a, just a, just a, just a, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh. Now, I dare say that this meal is not, is not diet friendly, but, not diet friendly at all. But shit happens, it's gonna be awesome. Not my finest work, but it'll do, donkey. It'll do. So I'm about to go to bed, but I thought I'd just update you and let you know that that lip coat thing that's meant to seal your lipstick and have it not wear off and all that was bullshit. It did not work at all. Like it was shocking. It made my lipstick go dry and like um, rubby, if that makes sense. Like it was sticky in the corners here. And then when I ate something, it just balled up, like it rolled up and balled up on my lips. It was disgusting. So I wiped my lipstick off, what was left of, um, because yeah, it turned into just lip liner anyway. So yeah, do not recommend. I might try it with a lipstick that isn't matte. That might make the world of difference, but yeah. <laughs> Crap. Good night, guys.